on the CW Philly. This breast cancer awareness segment sponsored by the Breast Cancer 3-Day. Good morning, everyone, and the Breast Cancer 3-Day is a special event near and dear to those who participate in it, and it kicks off tomorrow. And if you've ever walked in it, you know 60 miles in three days can take a toll on your muscles. Pat's outside right now to tell us about a brand new concept for participants this year. Pat? Oh, I found a very special place right out here in our parking lot. This is called the Live It Up Lounge. Kirk, let them get a good look at what this is all about. It is a special place. Now, this is a smaller version of what the women who are going to be participating in the breast cancer three-day over the next three days beginning tomorrow will have at their at their fingertips and also at the bottom of their very sore feet after so many miles of walking. And with us is Sandy Valetti, and Sandy is with the Live It Up Lounge, the Energizer Live It Up Lounge, and we're so happy to have you here. Why have you put this kind of thing together for the three-day? Thank you. It's great to be here. The Energizer Live It Up Lounge is a brand new traveling spa, and it's our way to show support to the breast cancer survivors and those walkers uh, that are out there walking the three-day weekend and to encourage them to keep going. So that's why we're here. Yeah. Why are you personally motivated to participate in this? Well, my mother's a breast cancer survivor, and one in eight women will be diagnosed in their lifetime with breast cancer, so it's an important cause for us to be involved in. You know, there are so many people who find that when they do have someone in their family who has breast cancer, they really do get involved at a very grassroots level. With us also is Lisa. Now, Lisa is a massage therapist. She's one of the volunteers who is going to be participating this weekend. Now, tell me why you're involved in this and what your volunteer uh, teammates are going to be doing. Oh, well, sure. I'm actually a breast cancer survivor, and I participated in the three-day um, in DC this past weekend. Um, so the reason why I'm volunteering as a walker in that experience, it would be nice to get a massage at the end of a day after walking 20 plus miles. Um, so what we're going to be doing in the tent is providing chair massage um, to all the walkers when they come in and sign up, 10 minute chair massage, um, just to relax those aching muscles. Um, like I said, it's 20 miles per day is a lot, um, but these women are very committed, so we'd like to give back to them. I found it very emotional and very moving in the course of the last several years of covering this. As a breast cancer survivor, did you find that as well? Oh, absolutely. I have to say that from opening ceremonies when there's a survivor circle that's created to um, being able to walk out and have the support of the walkers because the survivors come out in our pink shirts um, during closing ceremonies and just it's such an emotional thing and I actually have goosebumps thinking about it now but it is extremely emotional and um, this is my fifth year supporting um, the three day I walked last year in Philadelphia all set to walk again next year oh, fabulous <laughs> well we also have with us this is Angel and Angel is one of the breast cancer survivors who will be walking as well and you've been raising oh, money I'm not a survivor um, I am actually walking my third year in the Philadelphia breast cancer three day I am with the pink angels and we're the largest team on our team we do have two survivors and two uh, teammates currently going through treatments as well. And so what do you think about this kind of tent and, uh, and this special you know, on-the-road spa to be able to help the women cope once they get back into the camp at Belmont Plateau? It's very helpful. Uh, after a long day, this is very relaxing and helps to ease the weary feet, get some camaraderie, talk about your day. It's very helpful. And one of the things that the women are going to be going for is this chair massage that's right here. And Lisa's going to show us how that works. And Jennifer is also with us. And last year, Jennifer, you were among the highest uh, fundraising groups that we had at the three day. And you are a, a breast cancer survivor? I am not a breast cancer survivor, but I have the unusual circumstance that my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 18. And I'm happy to say that this year she's celebrating her 37th year as a survivor. So with some quick math, I just announced her age on television. <laughs> um, but our, our team is filled with a lot of survivors and I'm happy that we've grown so quickly this is my fourth year and only the third year for my team but we, we have raised a ton of money and our team keeps growing every year and does that scare you when you think in terms of your mom having had breast cancer at such a young age it, it does and I've had some issues myself and, and part of the reason why I'm walking is because I have two young nieces and a sister and I don't want them to have to go through the same things that my mom went through as well so and, and it's everybody else as well every time I do the walk I meet more and more people that are affected by breast cancer so it, it just encourages me to keep walking it really is it's a thrill opportunity when you do have the and when you make that commitment okay Lisa now you get into your position and uh, who would like to be Angel why don't you or Jennifer go ahead you get in all right Lisa you do do your thing and 
Sandy, tell us, you know, why do you think this kind of special treatment really does make a difference for the women? Why does it make them feel so loved? Well, they're, this is a commitment. They're walking 60 miles in three days, and we want to be there at the end of the day for them on Friday and Saturday to offer them a chance to laugh, learn, and relax. Obviously, the relaxing part is the massage, are the massages that are generously donated by the American Massage Therapy Association, but we want to be a part of their, their journey. We, we want to be there for them as, as we're all in it to find a cure for, for cancer. We, we certainly are, and the three-day will begin tomorrow, and uh, it will run through Sunday, and even in the rain, the women will be walking. And we'll go back up to Yuki now. The Live It Up Lounge is pretty nice, Yuki. Well, it's really nice. I thought you might even get in the chair, Pat. Go ahead. Yeah, enjoy uh, yourself. I might. If I don't come back in about 10 minutes, you'll know why. <laughs> I know exactly where you are. All right. Thank you, Pat. Appreciate it.